हाय एवरीवन नमस्ते हिंदी संवाद में आपका फिर से स्वागत है आई टीच यू टू वेज टू ज्वाइन हिंदी सेंटेंसेस इन दिस वीडियो एंड देन आई डेल इन टू वन ऑफ द वेज इफ दिस टॉपिक दैट आई बी टीचिंग यू ऑलरेडी कंफ्यूजेस यू और इज नॉट वेरी क्लियर मेक श्योर यू स्टिक विद मी टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो I'll give you examples from all three kinds of tenses, but then not all the categories of those tenses, because I've not covered them in my videos on my channel. The simple present tense, habitual past tense, and simple future tense. These three tenses have already been covered. You can check those videos out on my channel. I'll leave the links in my description box, or you can check out these cards which you see here. You can click on I button. and go to whichever video you want to check or revise let's check the first sentence in simple present tense that is where we talk about a habits or routine that's why we call it habitual present tense so the first way to join the sentence is to add or or in hindi is a conjunction which means and our sentence is wo daftar ka kaam khatam karta hai वो घर जाता है दीज आर द टू सेंटेंसेस दफ्तर मीन्स ऑफिस दफ्तर का काम मीन्स ऑफिस वर्क यू डोंट से दफ्तर काम यू कैन ट्रांसलेट डायरेक्टली यू हैव टू एड का देर का ट्रांसलेट्स टू अपोस्ट्रोफी एस इट मीन्स ऑफ सो इफ यू रीड इट बैकवर्ड्स इट विल बी वर्क ऑफ ऑफिस ऑफिस वर्क दफ्तर का काम इज ऑफिस वर्क द वर्ब हियर इज खत्म करना खत्म करना इज टू फिनिश सो खत्म करता है ही फिनिशेज his office work or he finishes office work wo ghar jata hai wo is he here because it agrees with jata or karta ghar home jata goes wo ghar jata hai he goes home here i have combined these two sentences using or check out the next sentence wo daftar ka kaam khatam karta hai aur ghar jata hai just like in english uh, you don't need to repeat the subject because the same subject is doing two actions right so you can omit the subject from the second sentence and don't worry about the word wo written with w and then v here the alphabet doesn't matter it's a sound that matters the word is wo let's see the second way of joining the same sentence wo daftar ka kaam khatam karke ghar jata hai now before i explain this what karke is understand that kar here is not a conjunction or is a conjunction but kar it's a particle it's a form of the verb that acts as a conjunction however it's not so uh, kar is formed from the verb karna which means to do and kar gives you the sense of saying having done something or after doing something so whatever action uh, you talk about uh, it will translate to and kar will translate to and or having done or after doing or even when something is done uh, all these expressions this kar participle is spoken in two ways the first one is kar itself which is more formal and grammatically correct and the second one is k K E K, which is colloquially used, uh, which is spoken and spoken Hindi. Now, in order to use kar or k and combine your sentences, two sentences or even multiple sentences, you must first extract the root verb of the first action. Here, the first action is in the first sentence, the action that was um, completed first, which is khatam karna. you need to drop na and then you get the root verb so khatam karna changes to khatam kar in its root form after khatam kar you cannot say kar again you cannot say kar kar this combination is is not possible it sounds odd and it is not at all possible you can't say khatam kar kar so whether it is in writing or in spoken hindi kar kar is not possible it's always karke wo daftar ka kaam khatam karke and then you join the second clause to the first one ghar jata hai so once again you don't need to repeat the subject here look at the second example in a different tense 
now we talk about habitual past tense which talks about your habit in the past something that you used to do before first we combine using or the conjunction gopal meri aawaz sunta tha gopal sota tha here we end with the helping verb tha which agrees with the subject gopal तो सुनता सुनना मीन्स टू लिसन और हियर एंड सुनता था मीन्स यूज टू हियर यूज टू लिसन मेरी आवाज इज वॉइस मेरी आवाज माई वॉइस गोपाल इज अ गाइज नेम गोपाल मेरी आवाज सुनता था गोपाल यूज टू लिसन टू माई वॉइस गोपाल सोता था यूज टू स्लीप सोता था सोना इज टू स्लीप सोता था इज यूज टू स्लीप नाउ वी कंबाइन यूजिंग ऑल गोपाल मेरी आवाज सुनता था और सोता था एज सिंपल एज दैट नाउ द सेकेंड मेथड कंबाइन यूजिंग कर गोपाल मेरी आवाज सुन के और सुनकर सोता था इन द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल आई स्पेसिफाइड दैट स्पीकिंग खत्म कर कर दैट इज कर कर इज नॉट पॉसिबल बट हियर वी डोंट हैव कर वर्ब वी हैव Sunna verb. We don't have karna here, but we have sunna. Sunna. So the root verb of sunna is only sun, and then you can add both to sun. You can say sunke or you can say sunkar. Sunke is spoken colloquially. Sunkar is a formal form. Sunke. You'll find sunke in spoken Hindi. You'll find sunkar in spoken Hindi as well as written Hindi. सो so, गोपाल मेरी आवाज सुन के सोता था और गोपाल मेरी आवाज सुनकर सोता था ही वुड स्लीप आफ्टर लिसनिंग टू माई वॉइस और ही यूज टू लिसन टू माई वॉइस एंड ही वुड स्लीप और एंड देन ही वुड स्लीप नाउ द थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इन सिंपल फ्यूचर टेंस वे वी टॉक अबाउट एन एक्शन इन फ्यूचर हम भारत जाएंगे भारत इज द हिंदी नेम फॉर इंडिया द वर्ब इज जाना If you want to say will go, the future form of the verb jana is jayenge, which agrees with hum. We will go is hum jayenge. Hum Bharat jayenge. We'll go to India. Hum bahut jagah ghumenge. Ghumna is the verb. Ghumna. Future form is ghumenge. Hum ghumenge. We will travel or we will visit. Bahut is many jagahein is places. Jagah. is a singular form jagah place jagah hai places so we will travel many places let's combine and we can say hum bharat jayenge aur bahut jagah ghumenge and now combine using kar or ke hum bharat ja ke we don't have kar root so we can say ke also we can add ke hum bharat ja ke aur ja kar बहुत जगह घूमेंगे बोथ फॉर्म्स आर पॉसिबल दिस होल सेंटेंस मीन्स वील गो टू इंडिया एंड विजिट मेनी प्लेसेस और इट कैन ऑल्सो मीन वेन वील गो टू इंडिया वील विजिट मेनी प्लेसेस आई होप दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ज्वाइनिंग सेंटेंसेज यूजिंग और एंड यूजिंग कर ऑल दिस इज मेकिंग सेंस आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल एंड वेरी क्लियरली येट इफ इट्स स्टिल नॉट क्लियर लुक एट मोर एग्जाम्पल्स Please ignore the numbering here. These are very common expressions in Hindi. I have focused only on kar or ke participle here in these four examples, and more specifically only on ke, which is more frequent in spoken Hindi. The first sentence is, "Aapse milke khushi hui." Aapse is with you, milke, or milkar is after meeting. or having met khushi is happiness and hui means had that means um having met you i felt pleased or it was nice to meet you to put it simply the second sentence is khana kha ke jao aur jaiye the first word khana means food as a noun the second word is a verb that is khana khana has two meanings khana can mean food khana can also mean to eat so the second word means to eat the root is you drop na you get the root word kha from khana you get kha 
एंड देन यू कैन एड के और कर खा के खा कर एंड देन एंडिंग दिस सेंटेंस विद इधर ऑफ दीज टू फॉर्म्स जाओ और जाइए दीज आर द टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ द वर्ब जाना विच मीन्स टू गो जाओ इज गो विच इज एन इनफॉर्मल फॉर्म एंड जाइए इज ऑल्सो गो और प्लीज गो विच इज अ फॉर्मल फॉर्म द होल सेंटेंस इज एन इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस दैट मीन्स इट्स एन इंस्ट्रक्शन और इवन अ रिक्वेस्ट सो खाना खा के जाओ इज हैव फूड एंड देन गो खाना खा के जाइए इज प्लीज हैव फूड एंड देन लीव सो लीव आफ्टर हैविंग फूड द थर्ड सेंटेंस इज देख के चलो और चलिए here i have completely omitted the subject in the sentence because it's an imperative sentence instructions or requests they don't necessarily take the subject in the sentence the verb here is dekhna when you drop na you get dekh as the root verb to dekh you can add k or kar both are possible dekh ke chalo chalo is the second verb here that is the second action remember we add kar or k only when there are two or more actions done by the same person or the same subject so dekh ke chalo the second verb is chalna chalna is to walk or go chalo informally chaliye formally so dekh ke chalo as an expression means walk carefully or watch out when you walk and finally the fourth expression is main soch ke bataunga aur bataungi here the two verbs that we have the two actions that we have are first is sochna to think second is batana to tell k as well as kar can be appended to soch soch ke soch kar both are possible main soch ke means after thinking i will tell bataunga for a boy bataungi for a girl bataunga and bataungi um they will agree with the subject if the subject is male he'll say bataunga if the subject is female she'll say bataungi main soch ke bataunga i'll think and tell you main soch ke bataungi i'll think and tell so remember that adding the kar participle to the root form of the verb karna that is kar adding kar to kar is not possible you cannot say kar kar karke is the only way to speak or even to write except that you can uh, append k or kar to any other verb milke milkar khake khakar chalke chalkar dekhke dekhkar sochke sochkar every other um, form is possible aur ab aapki bari now your turn aapki is your and bari means turn the word bari is feminine that's why you will always say aapki bari whether you speak to a male or a female aapki bari the phrase will remain the same as it is now these sentences are already combined the clauses are already combined in these sentences i've used the conjunction or but you have to replace or with kar and then change the sentences according to the structure your task is to use kar or k in these sentences and then join them and write your answers in the comment section i'll explain the meaning the first one is maryam ghar pahunchegi aur phone karegi maryam ladki ka naam hai and the two actions in this sentence are pahunchna to reach and phone karna to phone or to call or to dial the sentence is in future tense it means maryam ghar house or home pahunchegi will reach maryam will reach home or and phone karegi will call so after reaching home maryam will call or maryam will call after reaching home you have to um, join the sentence with kar now second sentence hum safai karte hain aur sham ko film dekhte hain this is in simple present tense it talks about uh, the habit routine the verbs are safai karna which means to clean and the second is dekhna to see or to watch hum safai karte hain we clean or we do the cleaning aur sham ko 
एंड इन द इवनिंग द फ्रेज फॉर इन द इवनिंग इज नॉट शाम मे इट शाम को द वर्ड शाम इज फॉलोड बाई को शाम को फिल्म फॉर मूवी देखते हैं वॉच हम सफाई करते हैं वी क्लीन अप वी डू द क्लीनिंग और शाम को फिल्म देखते हैं एंड वॉच द मूवी एंड वॉच अ मूवी इन द इवनिंग द थर्ड वन इज वो मुस्कुराई और बोली वो हियर रेफर्स टू अ गर्ल बिकॉज इट मैच विद द वर्ब बोली एंड इवन मुस्कुराई मुस्कुराई एंड बोली आर फेमिन फॉर्म्स एंड दैट्स हाउ वी कंक्लूड दैट इट्स अ गर्ल द टू वर्ब्स आर मुस्कुराना to smile and bolna to speak or to say this sentence is in simple past tense we haven't done that tense yet but it's just to give you an exposure wo muskurai means she smiled or boli and spoke she smiled and spoke very quickly i'd like to give a huge shout out to mr k r tiruvengaram really sorry for the bad pronunciation just in case it is maaf kijiye um your comment really made my day thank you so 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 much for the feedback i acknowledge it and i really appreciate what you have written thank you so much and now coming back to the exercise uh, this is your homework all of you do it connect the phrases using kar or ke write the sentences in the comment section or even uh, construct your own sentences i'll check and i'll meet you in the next class namaste